Hey everyone, today we are going to be in Oklahoma City. Yes, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, obviously. Going to a place called Cafe de Lazy. I think that's how it's pronounced. If not, well, too bad. No, I'm just kidding. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, today we're going to be trying a giant McRib challenge. So now you're probably wondering, wait, what? McRib? Yes. So this place offers what they call a pork bon mi, barbecue pork bon mi sandwich. And they have this giant version, this giant variation, which is basically a McRib. I'm going to tell you all about what a McRib is you're not, if you're not familiar with it here in a bit. But that being said, we're going to have 30 minutes to complete the challenge to get the meal for free. I think it's about a $60-ish value. It is an absolutely giant roll, a full rack, yes, an absolutely full rack of deboned uh, ribs which are barbecued and then braised with the sauce on it um, I think it has pickles and onions and I'll get you the exact details but anyway let's head on over let's have some fun let's eat some food guys I love barbecue this is a giant rib sandwich and I mean a McRib guys it's so cool so let's go eat Hi everyone so here I am with the absolutely giant McRib or I guess the technical name I think is a barbecue rib bun me sandwich so absolutely massive they do have again a full rack of ribs on this we have the pickles, we have mayonnaise, we have onions. They use a high country barbecue sauce that is a Oklahoma like barbecue sauce. Um, very popular in the area. Uh, so yeah, all looks really, really good. Again, totally modeled and it really does look like a McRib. I'm not gonna lie. So when they're like describing it, I was like, is that gonna look like a McRib? But it really does. So super excited to try this out. So uh, let's get started here just momentarily. Like I said, this is definitely a big barbecue sandwich, but hey, I'm really glad to get into it. A rib sandwich is a cool thing, hard to come by, and uh, especially one that's modeled after a McRib. So the world's biggest McRib, let us get eating here just momentarily. All right, so like we said, only 20 minutes, not a lot of time, but it does look very, very, very good. I am excited um, where to start. I mean, this is, I'm gonna try to eat like a big sandwich. It is nice and hot. I'd see it steaming. Ooh, definitely nice and hot, looks good. This bread is a bit crispy, might be a little difficult. Definitely a lot of bread. That's probably gonna be the, the real difficulty of it. But let's give it a go. So how about we get started? Here, there's like a, I'll start here, I guess. Wow, this is this is this is huge. This is so dense and heavy. Yeah, and that bread. All right, let's get started. Let's hit a count of maybe uh, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get going. Mm. Wow. That mayonnaise makes that rich, that's for sure. Woo! Tasty. But rich. Mm. That rib though, woo! Hey everyone, welcome to Zudo. Today we're here at Cafe de Lazy in Oklahoma City here trying an absolutely giant McRib challenge. Yes, guys, what a crazy item. Very flavorful. Rip off a portion of that. All right, this is actually amazingly good. Mm. Just that rib, woo, and that sauce. Very delicious. Big bread though. So to give you a little bit of actual history behind the McRib in case you're not familiar what they are. Um, so the McRib was a barbecue flavored pork sandwich being a reformed rib patty um, which has been sold kind of periodically since the 1980s. It was first introduced in 1981, removed in 1985 after basically poor sales. However, it was reintroduced in 1989 and it actually stayed on the menu of McDonald's in most countries until 2005 and then coming 2006 it became pretty much just available periodically kind of like the like every couple years they'll release it maybe in like the fall months or something um, whereas it's actually a permanent menu item in Germany and Luxembourg which is pretty interesting um, so yeah essentially it is a McRib uh, so it's a, supposed to be it's supposed to be rib I don't know if it really is in the real version but today we had a real rib which was awesome a big rack of D-bone ribs and then traditional 
traditionally covered in sauce like our one today, served with pickles and onions just like our one today. Um, I don't think the original one had mayonnaise on it, but this one we had mayonnaise on today. Perhaps it has mayonnaise on it, I don't recall. It's been a long time since I had a McRib, but I will say this was a perfect replication and this was delicious. I think it's gonna take longer than I thought. This thing is thick. Super meaty and bready, but but it is tender. Woo. Very enjoyable. That bread, I think, it jammed myself pretty good. Wow. So with only 30 minutes to complete this challenge, I knew I definitely was going to have to dive in. The bread, although it was actually super delicious, super fresh, the way it was warm, baked, crisped up was awesome, but it was a thick loaf thick, thick, thick bread. Um, the rib here was super tender. The way they baked it, you know, or braised it with the actual sauce, it just gave that lovely kind of caramelized, kind of cooked on sauce, that sticky sweet aspect with those fresh pickles, which were like hamburger pickles, those onions. It was honestly really, really, really good and much better than a you know, traditional McDonald's McRib as this was made with, well, I'll say real food, I'll put it that way. Um, so this place, uh, Cafe de Lazy, super cool spot. This is a kind of a menu item they have, but it's called the, uh, I believe it's called the pork bon mi, barbecue pork bon mi. Um, so it's not normally this big. They have a smaller variation. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend giving it a go. They have lots of other cool items on the menu as well. Um, we did have 30 minutes to complete this challenge and we're definitely trying to get that meal for free. I think we're about four and a half-ish minutes in. Yeah, I definitely cut the side of my mouth there with that bread, but very, very good. I've actually never had a McRib before, not gonna lie. Let me know if you had a McRib down below what you th think of them. They're like a cult favorite. They have some following whenever they bring them back. I thought it was awesome they were using a local Oklahoma barbecue sauce. It just kind of really, I think, goes to show the, like, Oklahoma has this lovely, not only hospitality, is true Southern hospitality, it has just these lovely notes of that Southern culture and such a diverse background of so many ethnicities. Oklahoma is kind of, I think, an over, or an underrated state. Like, it is, it has a, a lot to offer. Yes, I mean, aesthetically driving through it, it's a lot of plain fields, there's a lot of open land, etc. But I truly do think it is underrated, both with the food, both with the people, and uh, you know, hidden gems like this, plus the cities. Uh, and and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and it, also, they're like, again, there's a bit of like this Oklahoma pride. They're really big, at least in my um, experience, on supporting their own state. Huge. Yes. And that's the kind of ideal ideal that I like. Like the idea that, you know, we're all in this together, you know, look after your neighbors, etc. So I just think that's super awesome. Um, that's kind of the majority of the information about the actual challenge. Pretty straightforward. Uh, of course, uh, we kind of talked about the actual McRib itself. Um, let me know down below if you ever had a McRib. And uh, at that, that's pretty much that. So ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see if we can complete this sandwich. Let's see what happens. And you'll notice me kind of gazing off. Um, there was some interesting happenings outside uh, the building kind of while I was eating. So I, ca I even I got a little bit of dinner in a show. But thanks for joining me for dinner, everybody. Remember to hit that like button if you liked the video so far. And uh, like I said, always feel free to comment down below. It does help the algorithm. In other words, it helps YouTube know that you like the video. And please always consider subscribing and sharing the video with your friends. And with that, let's get to the rest of it. Ooh. All right, guys, roughly 10 minutes in. Ooh. This thing is kicking my butt a little bit. Like I said, a lot, a lot denser. It might not look, but it is a lot denser and heavier than I thought. Diving into it. Super tender though, super juicy. I mean, I've, I've literally used like one small cup of liquid 
it is definitely a delicious delicious sandwich and they is available in a regular size which i'd recommend trying not the big size but the regular size they got that right Come to the end. Come on, I think coming on 16 minutes. We're coming on 15 minutes. Last bite. Okay, Whew. finished up. Not gonna lie, that was a bit harder than I expected. A lot of food. That bread was, that bread was pretty hefty, but man, good tasting rib sandwich. Again, I've never actually had a McRib, so I can't quite say how it compared, but I've smelt a McRib. As funny as that smell sounds, and this smelt or taste it like how a McRib smelled. Does that make sense? I gotta say though, super, super delicious. Ribs are super tender. I love that barbecue sauce on it. The pickles, the onions, the mayo. And I, this sounds funny, but the pickles tasted like a hamburger pickle, like I would expect at McDonald's. So anyway, that was really delicious. Absolutely delicious barbecue rib bon me. Um, really liked it. I got no complaints. So again, obviously this is like an oversized, made larger version. They do have a traditional one on the menu. And I saw it, it's like, you know, like the size of your bottom meat, your regular sandwich. So yeah, definitely would recommend trying one. This is a really cool spot, guys. Um, Cafe de la Z, the people here have been fantastic. They've been super, super friendly. So yeah, definitely recommend stopping on by, trying something like this. This is awesome. They also are known here for their uh, steamed buns. They do like patty melts. Um, they do fish and chips. They got a whole bunch of different options, salads, etc. So definitely recommend stopping on by. Try yourself a normal size item. And um, yeah, for that, we do get meal fruits, pretty cool. And uh, that's about that. The only one thing maybe I'll try, admittingly, is they do have something called a taro cheesecake. So maybe we'll give that a shot. But to that, everybody, that's pretty much it. Um, downtown Oklahoma City. 
really cool spot. We definitely recommend. And uh, that's about that. I got no other words. I'm definitely full. I am not hungry. Don't eat something this big. Don't do what I do. I do this so you do not have to. But definitely try a normal size item. So, whew. With that, everyone, until next time, stay happy with hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Like I said, hopefully let me know if you ever had a McRib down below. And I don't know, this was interesting. It was, it was, it was very, very, very good. Pleasantly good. So rich, savory, a little zangy. And that, that's it, everybody. Have a lovely day. I appreciate you. That's it. Just thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Goodbye. All right, and super, super, super quick. I'm literally only having a bite. I am so full. But I do want to try this. It looks really good. They have a, uh, a taro cheesecake. So, I've never had a taro cheesecake. This smells really... What is that smell? Oh man, I smell the fruit. It smells super like creamy. This is actually Oreo. Crumbled the bottom, some fruits on it. Let's try this out. This, I mean, I like, I like taro. I like cheesecake. So I'll try a bite there with some of the Oreos. Okay, wow. Not what I was expecting. There's some, definitely some lemon in that. Wow. Mmm. It's actually really, really refreshing. Like lemon. I'd almost describe this like a, like a lemon cheesecake. Definitely wasn't expecting that though. No complaints. I you feel quite a bit lighter. I feel a little bit refreshed. It was uh, such a good call. That like zest of that lemon kind of woke me up, but woo. Like I said, a lot of food. Really, really good. I'm gonna take the rest to go though. And this is downtown. Oklahoma City. Some of the sites. We have Bricktown over to our right. Bricktown is a uh, kind of hip area, obviously. Lots of bricks, lots of brick buildings. Um, I know down, I think it's down there is the Botanical Garden, which I saw last time I was in Oklahoma. Um, a botanical garden, maybe it's not Botanical Garden, but some kind of garden, which we saw. Very, very beautiful uh, when we were here before. There is um, lots of art in around this area of Oklahoma City, uh, as you can see, which is awesome. Very pretty. And we're just heading right down in here, a little further into the core of the Oklahoma, the OCK city here. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.